Fish chips, fish and chips. Da 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 da. Fish chips, fish and chips. A proper hot dog stand, but it's closed. With the usual Coca Cola for their drink. They have a proper pizzeria or pizza stand. Pizza for all. And they have the British, traditional British quintessential fish and chip stand. What the? Now even Korea is on board the halal certification bandwagon. I told you that the halal certification is really going overboard these days. It's not even required in religion. Most religion allow you to eat any food because food come from God. Food come from nature. Most foods are food they can be eaten as long as it's eaten in moderation Some people are so irritating. All these are very nice yummy snacks. I don't understand why some people don't like it. <laughs> Once in a while you can have a plate of fish and chips. It's, it's delicious, it's nice. It only costs $9.90. Understandable for a large plate of fish and chips. Oh, don't give me a break. Even you are on board the bandwagon as well. Seriously? You know, this is just a recent, recent invention that Hala certification has only been in a, a recent movement of the 1980s. It's not originally Islamic practice. Color certification stand, you know, it's a, it's a man made loc lucrative business using religion and stamping the halal certification on food products and restaurants and outlets. It's a recent invention of the 1980s and it's not necessary. Halal certification divides people. You should not have it halal, you should have it normal. But most burger, I'm glad, I'm glad most burger keeps to its work, remains. As, a, as, an, as an independent franchise. At least Mos Burger is not under the halal umbrella. 
and there's also a very delicious, juicy, mouth-watering burgers, especially their wagyu beef demi glaze.